when I bought this car from Alex, I was uh, switching this wheel right here and I found this control arm completely loose. The nut was about to fall off and the car started feeling weird a couple days ago and I put it up on the lift and check this out. That's the actual ball joint that came loose. Alex swore up and down that he had just taken the car to Tesla for an alignment a few months earlier and he was like, there is no way that that nut right there was loose when I got the alignment done. It had to come loose later and I'm not sure if uh, maybe Tesla needs to look into this and change this design a little bit or change the type of nut that they have here. I'm not really sure, but if that comes off while you're driving on the freeway, yeah, you're in trouble. I tightened up that ball joint and I realized really quickly that it was an offset ball joint that is used for alignment purposes. So that kind of explains the problem. Whoever did the alignment on the car at Tesla just probably wasn't physically strong enough to hold the stud of the ball joint and tighten the nut. It took me quite a bit of grunt to get it tight. And to show you what has happened now, the alignment is completely off. I put the steering wheel in the center position. And if we take a look at the wheels, the right side wheel looks pretty straight, but the driver's side wheel is kind of cocked out. It has way too much negative toe. So I have a couple construction lasers here and take your guess as to how accurate I'm gonna be able to get this, but I bet I can get it right back into alignment until I get to a Tesla dealer or somewhere else that has the proper alignment machine because of all the equipment I have, that is one thing I do not have. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the laser line in a perfectly parallel position to the hubs of both wheels. Then I'm gonna measure the edge of the rim in the front and the back. Do the same thing on the driver's side and then adjust the ball joint accordingly. The other issue I have is that that ball joint also adjusts the caster and the camber angle. So I'm going to have to go underneath the car and kind of do a measurement with the lasers like that. But I think I could get it pretty much in line enough so that the car drives straight and doesn't wear the tires. This is going to do the trick. This is the rear wheel. Measure the back half. It's at about 74 millimeters. The front, it's 70 millimeters on the dot. So we got a slight bit of toe in on that back wheel. You can figure this out mathematically by taking the two points that you're measuring from, doing some math to create a sphere the same size as your two measuring points, cutting that in half, dividing that into 180 pieces, and seeing what the distance of each degree would be in millimeters, and then you can quickly figure out how many degrees that's pointed in. And if we go to the front wheel, it is 75 millimeters and the front half is about 72 millimeters on the service sheet for the Tesla. These front wheels should be either zero or negative 0.2 degrees. And if we have a larger measurement on the back and a smaller measurement on the front, that means that this wheel is pointed in a little bit. With the wheel in the exact same position as before, let's measure the driver's side. This is the back wheel, 91 millimeters and 88 millimeters. And the distance from the hub to the laser isn't related from the driver's to the passenger side. This is just a relative straight line measurement. Now this is the front wheel, 1002 millimeters. On the front side we have, whoa. 85 millimeters well there you go so this thing is way towed out so we'll split that in half and we're gonna have to make an adjustment of about seven millimeters after fiddling with it for a little while here's where i'm at i got a thousand millimeters on the front half of the driver's side wheel and about a thousand millimeters on the rear half of the driver's side wheel that's pretty close. I just put the car back up on the lift. I'm gonna mark the clock position of this ball joint so I don't lose the spot. Tighten it up really good. Take it for a test drive and I'll check out that ball joint a little bit later. I mean, it seems like it's okay. I just wanna double check it to make 100% sure. Then I'll take it back to Tesla for an alignment and tell them they need to get a really strong guy who can hold the stud and tighten the actual nut at the same time. 
It's not that easy, but that's why it's called work. Other than that, the car looks like it's built pretty well. I mean, everything looks pretty well made. Maybe that's why Tesla hasn't made any money yet. I'm driving and the car seems like it's tracking pretty straight. Here, I'm gonna let my hands off the wheel. And yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I feel like it's just pulling a little bit to the right. Just a hair. Nothing too serious, but I'm still gonna take it for an alignment. You can see the lane right there. Uh, it's tracking pretty straight. Might be maybe a millimeter off or something, but it's pretty darn close. This is the craziest thing, but as I was getting off of the exit from my test drive, I saw an example of exactly what could have happened to me if that ball joint came completely loose. I consider myself lucky that I realized the ball joint was loose before it got to that point. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you maybe, I don't know, think outside the box. I thought it was interesting that I found myself in a situation that I had to use construction lasers to align my car. And unfortunately this car broke down a couple weeks later with an electrical isolation fault. I'm still trying to locate that fault. Hopefully I'll have it back on the road. And when I do, I'm doing a video on that. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.